The ART Rope Guide Twin Line is the next generation, low friction, removable false crotch for use with a diverse range of tree climbing rope access systems. Simple to install and safely retrieve from the ground, it incorporates all of the original rope guide safety features like the exclusive camming action and energy absorbing lanyard and can be used in various innovative configurations offering users a broad range of possible applications and functions. In addition to the unique rope guide twin line format, the rope guide now comes with a new splice anchor to make retrieval even easier, especially when removing from tight forks. To install the rope guide twin line from the ground in the twin line configuration, simply slide the anchor line through the cam of the device before attaching it to the throw line. Clip the trapeze to the rope bag or harness to keep the rope guide near the ground, then install the anchor line as normal. Once the anchor line is installed, tie an overhand knot on a bite with a large eye and girth hitch this eye onto the slider spool. Install the climbing line through the cocoon and attach the trapeze to the standing part of the line. Attach the spliced end of the climbing line to the climbing bag or clip it to your harness and pull on the tail of the anchor line to install the rope guide at the tying point. Both the running doubled rope climbing system and the stationary anchor line are now fully usable for access, rescue or work positioning. The climber can choose to access the tree via a running doubled rope system, by foot locking both sides of the climbing line, then tailing the spider jack from aloft. Or by employing SRT on the anchor line. By tying a stopper knot above the splice before connecting the spider jack, climbers can lock their doubled rope climbing system at the rope guide then use SRT to ascend the tail of the climbing line. Alright everyone, stop work, there's been an accident. Tom, Tom, can you hit Throughout the climb, one of the pre-installed lines will then be available in the event an aerial rescue is required. Yes, I need an ambulance to 31. Climbers attaching to the cocoon are protected by the energy absorbing capacity of the rope guide. In the event of a significant fall, the energy absorbing lanyard will deploy to limit the impact experienced by both the climber and the tying point. Changing from head to head or advancing your tying point once up in the tree are straightforward and easy. Simply lanyard in where you want to advance your tying point to, like that. Disconnect the splice from your spider jack and pull the rope guide out in the usual manner. When that gets to me, all I have to do is undo the girth hitch from the slider and I'm ready to retrieve it if that's an open fork. In a tighter fork, I'd certainly take the time to undo the overhand knot leaving me with just the tail end of the rope to pull through. When that gets, gets back to me, I can throw it in to my new tying point and then reinstall the rope guide in the usual manner. So an overhand knot, give it a tail, and choke that onto the slider's ball. That dress neatly. I can install my climbing line back through the pulley, reattach the spider jack, and I can tow that into position above me. So 
load test that and then I'm ready to climb. One advantage of being able to throw it ahead of you is that I don't need to climb up to my new time point to install my rope guide. I can throw that rope through a fork right up ahead of myself and tow it in, into position. Also, if I'm moving from head to head, I've now moved my rescue line into the most advantageous position should a rescue technician need to ascend into the tree in the event of an accident, it'll be coming straight up to me. The new rope guide also allows for safe and effective pole top setups when undertaking tree removal. In this configuration, the climber can easily self-rescue in the event of an accident, or a rescue climber can quickly ascend the pre-installed anchor line. Use of the rope guide twin line makes possible a wide range of new tricks and techniques. Here, I've dropped through a natural crutch and set up a redirect to work in the tree below. By sliding the rope guide down the anchor line until the cocoon drops through the fork, I've set a very low friction natural redirect and I can continue to work through the tree. When I finish in this area, I can either pull my rope guide out and retrieve it as normal, or by tailing on the, pulling on the tail of the anchor line, I can slide the rope guide back up to the top of the tree and continue my climb. Removing the rope guide once the climb has finished is quick and efficient. Uninstall the climbing line and the retrieval ball will catch on the trapeze and slide the rope guide down the anchor line to ground. So all I have to do now is undo the overhand knot and remove my anchor line from the tree such that the only thing passing through the fork is the tail of my anchor line. The rope guide twin line is sold with the new Ally pulley. This is a knot for life support pulley designed to be attached to the back of the trapeze and provide a fair lead into the body of the rope guide twin line. I'm installing the Ally pulley on the anchor line, attaching a little snap carabiner and clipping that to the dedicated ring on the back of the trapeze. This will provide a fair lead of the anchor line into the body of the device when I'm retrieving my rope guide, having descended to the ground, not parallel to the anchor line. By using the new stopper gate and tying a stopper knot below the trapeze, single line work position climbers can take advantage of the many benefits the rope guide twin line has to offer, including the zip absorber, pre-installed rescue line and single load on the tying point. Natural redirects can be set as normal throughout the tree. When retrieving the system, the climbing line will pull out through the canopy until the retrieval ball engages the trapeze and the rope guide is lowered down the anchor line. Also available for the rope guide twin line is ART's new splice anchor. A spliced soft eye sling for use with the rope guide twin line. The best thing about it is that I can change between the two configurations very quickly whilst up in the tree. I've lanyard it in, detach my system, pull the rope guide down to me and I can take out first the girth hitch, then the overhand knot. Slide that off the line, And now I can drop this rope out of the tree. I could install it tied off up here to make a permanent fixed rescue line. Or, heads up, I can slide it down the ground to the ground to be tied off to make an access line in the usual manner. I've now got my rope guide. The slider spool will open 
separate from the rope guide and I can choke it to one of the gear loops on my harness. I then take the splice anchor and slide it through the cam of the rope guide twin line. Tire stopping up. Pass the eye of the splice anchor over my target fork. Put the cocoon through the eye. Install my climbing line through the cocoon. Reattach the spider jack and I can pull on the tail of the splice anchor to pull the rope guide into position. The Rope Guide Twin Line Soft Eye Splice or Splice Anchor is the premium low friction removable anchor point available for modern discerning climbers. It encompasses all of the unique features that made its predecessor the premier low friction pulse crotch, including ART's trademarked energy absorbing lanyard, adjustable camming action, ability to choke onto vertical timber, and quick setting and now improved retrievability. The Rope Guide Twin Line with the new Splice Anchor is the finest, safest, most versatile, commercially available tie-in point in the world. The ART Rope Guide Twin Line is the most flexible, multi-configuration, dedicated low friction false crotch available and incorporates a range of new and unique setup features and possibilities. ART for the art of tree climbing.